Welcome into Steelers Talk, and on today's show, I'm going to be analyzing why I believe Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin is the right man uh, for the job here in Pittsburgh as the head coach for at least the next couple of seasons, and why I believe that if you give him the right offensive coordinator and the right quarterback this offseason or, or, or in the future here in general, I think this team could absolutely win Super Bowls once again with Mike Tomlin at the helm. Before I get into Tomlin's resume today and we have this discussion, make sure you guys uh, get in the comment section right now and answer this question for me. Is Mike Tomlin is an elite NFL head coach? Give me a yes, give me a no. Let me know what you guys think down there in the comments section. You guys are going to see throughout this video why I would be answering yes to this question, but also I completely understand if you answer no. So let's start with the accomplishments, all right? Let's start with the good things about Mike Tomlin's uh, career as the Pittsburgh Steelers head coach. Of course, he won the Super Bowl uh, back in 20, uh, 2008, 2009, Super Bowl 43. Uh, of course, with the Big Ben Santonio Holmes catch, the iconic game, of course. Two Super Bowl appearances, lost his other appearance to the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers. Uh, but also a three AFC championship appearances in 17 years. You got 10 playoff appearances, all right? Nine double-digit win seasons, nine of 16 to this point. Could be uh, 10 for 17 if they win against the Ravens this weekend. And then also 17 straight non-losing seasons. That is more non-losing seasons in a row than any NFL head coach has been with their current team, which is 16 years, John Harbaugh, Baltimore Ravens. And then also the career win percentage, 62.2 over a 17-year stretch is still the sixth highest among current NFL head coaches. And that includes guys that have only been head coaches for like a year, two years, three years. He is still competing with the top guys in the league in terms of career win percentage. And, you know, for being as coach as long as he has, that is extremely, extremely impressive. But that's not to say that there aren't legitimate criticisms about Mike Tomlin, which is why, you know, if you disagree with me and you think Mike Tomlin isn't the right guy and the Steelers need something fresh, I completely understand that because the Steelers don't have any playoff wins since 2016. You know, you can say all you want about regular season, but the argument is, you know, he doesn't really win when it counts. We'll be discussing that uh, on today's show as well, but also no Super Bowl appearances since 2010. So throughout 2010 to 2020, that whole decade there, no Super Bowl appearances other than that Green Bay Super Bowl, which they lost, by the way. And then also they've only had one 10-win uh, season over the last six seasons here in Pittsburgh. It's been a lot of 9-7, and seven, a lot of 8-8 eight and eight here in Pittsburgh here over the last half decade. So on today's show, I'm going to be breaking down those quote-unquote mediocre years here in Pittsburgh under Mike Tomlin. And I'm going to tell you why they don't necessarily concern me or not necessarily make me want to get off of Mike Tomlin as the head coach of this team moving forward. But before I go over, uh, over the next, last six years in detail and kind of uh, my thoughts on those years, go ahead right now and get started on your New Year's resolutions with today's sponsor at Factor Meals. Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery service takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery stores and the prep work and the cooking fatigue. Instead, getting sh get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered straight to your door with over uh, 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons so you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your New Year's resolutions. What's even better is that Factor now offers loads of snack options like breakfast, smoothies, juices, snacks, and more to keep you going no matter what's on your schedule. Factor was uh, nice enough to send Coop and I some, of the, some, uh, some meals and some juices and some of the breakfast stuff as well. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I promise you, you are going to love the way Factor tastes, and you're really going to love the convenience as well. Head on over to factormeals.com slash SteelersChat50 and use code SteelersChat50, one word, to get 50% off Factor Meals today. That's code SteelersChat50 at factormeals.com slash SteelersChat50 to get 50% off. So now let's start uh, on this journey here of the last six seasons with 2018. And this is kind of the start of it all right before this season. Uh, you know, the top, it was the killer B era, four straight 10 plus win seasons, you know, going to the playoffs, having really good football teams led by Big Ben Roethlisberger. 
right? But you finish this year at 9-6-1 and one and miss the playoffs despite starting the year at 7-2-1. and one. Now, you also have to remember Le'Veon Bell sat out the entire season holding out for that contract dispute. And then also this is really the year where Antonio Brown really started to lose his freaking marbles uh, and ended up being traded to the Las Vegas Raiders after the season was over. Now, 2018, in my opinion, because it was such a bad collapse and you still had a prime Big Ben Roethlisberger at this time, uh, you know, this is probably the biggest stain, at least in my opinion, on Mike Tomlin's uh, career record in terms of a regular season, right? You missed the playoffs after such a good start. Uh, you weren't able to get Le'Veon Bell uh, to, to sign a contract, an extension, when he was really playing well. Antonio Brown was kind of losing it, so people were starting to say Mike Tomlin's losing the locker room, all this different stuff. 2018 is definitely a year that Mike Tomlin probably wishes he could get back. Then we get to 2019, and it's another season where the Steelers missed the playoffs, an 8-8 eight and eight finish. Uh, but you have to remember that this season here, Big Ben Roethlisberger gets hurt very early in the season, and you're pretty much relying on a very young Mason Rudolph at that point and Duck Hodges. Yes, Duck Hodges as your starting quarterback for pretty much the entire season. And the fact that I, you know, Tomlin got this team to an 8-8 eight and eight record, I think is actually pretty impressive, all right? I think with most teams had a young Mason Rudolph, who was not a very good quarterback at that time, and Duck Hodges, who was definitely not a good quarterback at that time, uh, you know, getting them to 8-8, eight and eight, I think that's a really good accomplishment from Mike Tomlin, and it shows that he's able to keep teams afloat even when all hell breaks loose uh, in terms of losing star players. Then we get to 2020, and of course, this was the COVID year, and it was a very weird year in the National Football League. But the Pittsburgh Steelers did get back to double-digit win football here with a 12-4 record, but that's also a little bit misleading because this was another season where the Steelers completely collapsed in the latter half of the season. Big Ben uh, you know, played really well to start the season. The defense was absolutely elite, and because of that, the Steelers got off to a historic 11 straight wins to start this season, but they also lost the final five of six games. All right, that is a terrible stretch, including playoffs, where, of course, you get that famous photo of Big Ben Roethlisberger on the bench in, uh, at Acrisure Stadium losing to the Cleveland Browns, right? And, of course, you lost to the Browns both in Week 18 and in the wild card round at Acrisure Stadium. Absolutely embarrassing for this franchise. Now, my thoughts here on 2020 is that when Big Ben Roethlisberger was actually playing really good football, uh, in the early part of the season, this team couldn't be stopped. Mike Tomlin had this team just rolling, winning every single football game. And you could definitely tell as the season went on, especially during that final home stretch, Big Ben's uh, play definitely began to decline. Coming off that injury in 2019, I think that his age really started to show. Uh, and, and unfortunately, this is the beginning of the end for Big Ben Roethlisberger as an elite NFL quarterback. And unfortunately, uh, that ended the season prematurely here for the 2020 Pittsburgh Steelers. Then you get to the 2021 season where, once again, they're back to 9, 7, and 1. They did end up making the playoffs again this year with Big Ben as their quarterback. But once again, I think Ben's age continued to show itself. Uh, you know, he had a harder time throwing the ball down the field here, especially here towards the end of the season. And, of course, it wasn't helpful that Matt Canada was the offensive coordinator here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I do think Tomlin still got... Uh, you know, Pittsburgh to the playoffs, you know, despite poor offensive play calling and a declining quarterback. So this was really be the beginning of, a, of an era here over these last three seasons where Tomlin's had to overcome bad offensive play calling via Matt Canada and poor quarterback play. And although Ben uh, was pretty decent that year, especially to begin the season, by season's end, he was, he was definitely not the same quarterback, uh, and he was getting tired. He couldn't handle the 17-game schedule, and by the time they made it to the playoffs, I mean, what would you expect from Mike Tomlin? To win the Super Bowl this year? I mean, absolutely not. I think the fact that he got this team to the playoffs yet again uh, is another good thing on Mike Tomlin's resume. And then perhaps one of his best coaching jobs was last year. People forget about this. In 2022, getting to 9-8 and eight, despite what they had to go through on offense. Drafting Kenny Pickett, who was a rookie last year. Mitch Trubisky not playing well. And, of course, you got the terrible offensive play calling of Matt Canada. One of the worst offenses in Pittsburgh Steelers history was last year. And despite a 3-7 and seven start, despite getting absolutely destroyed by the Buffalo Bills and the Philadelphia Eagles, right? Everybody gave up hope on this team. And people were starting to, to clamor for Tomlin to get fired. He goes on to win seven of the final seven games of that season, and people went into the 2023 campaign with a lot of hope because of that stretch. The defense played fantastically. 
down the stretch, and it was really the engine that almost got that team to the playoffs. They were the first team out of the AFC playoff picture, and, and definitely the, the hopes were high going into 2023. So I think that this was a great coaching job by Mike Tomlin. He had a terrible offensive structure, and he made it work anyway. That's kind of been the trademark of him, at least in my opinion, over these last six years, and that continued into this year. So right now, 9-7. and seven. Of course, we got this final game against the Baltimore Ravens in Week 18. If you win, they get back to double-digit win football, despite the fact that, once again, you had Matt Canada here as the offensive coordinator, despite the fact that Kenny Pickett didn't develop into the quarterback we were all hoping he was going to be. Uh, and he also had to make major changes this year, right? There was a bunch of injuries to his defense at the inside linebacker and safety position, overcame those, brought guys in to contribute right away. It was really, really good stuff. And right now, Pittsburgh, with these last two wins, are right on the precipice of making the playoffs with one of the worst offensive seasons in this uh, franchise's history in terms of overall league rankings. So this is, I believe, what great coaches do. They're able to take a roster with the coaches that they have available and kind of get them to their ceiling. If they have the coaches and the roster to be a title contender, that's what happens, right? If they, if they have the roster to potentially compete for a playoff spot, that's what happens, right? Uh, and my contention here is that Mike Tomlin is the type of guy that does that, right? Even despite losing quarterbacks, having bad quarterback play, despite, you know, granted, he hired Matt Canada, but you know what? You know, Matt Canada's offense was absolutely terrible, and he's still overcoming that. So my contention here is that if they get the right offensive coordinator, right, if Tomlin can, can just get it right this time, hire the right offensive coordinator, and get the right quarterback with the defensive structure that's here with the leadership abilities that Mike Tomlin has, I absolutely have all the confidence in the world that Mike Tomlin can be and will be a Super Bowl winning head coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, you know, pretty soon here. I absolutely do believe that. And as a Steelers fan, I really do believe in that contention. But let me know what you guys think down there in the comments section. Who would you like to see as the next offensive coordinator quarterback combo here in Pittsburgh in 2024? Do you want to see like an Eric Bieniemy, Mason Rudolph? Do you want to see uh, something else? Let me know which offensive coordinator and which quarterback you want to pair with Mike Tomlin in 2024 to try to get the Steelers their next Super Bowl. Let me know down there in the comments what you guys think, and make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Thank you guys uh, for sticking with me here, whether you agree with my take, whether you disagree with me. If you made it to the end of today's video, I appreciate everybody hearing me out today. Uh, and, uh, and honestly, I don't really expect anyone to completely agree with me 100%, right? If you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine. I love having uh, this kind of dialogue with you guys here on the channel, so make sure you click that subscribe button for premium Steelers content 24-7, 365 for free right here on YouTube.